Well, y'all, I should say good afternoon. It is a very late start to my studio vlog today because it is 3 p.m. However, let's go ahead and get the introductions out of the way. My name is Teresa. I am a small business owner, a content creator, and a first-time mom. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if not, welcome back. <laughs> Okay, besties, so I just wanted to point out this is my first time doing a studio vlog with the new camera. So if you guys haven't seen my video, I just got a new camera, the Sony ZV-E10. <laughs> I just got a new camera, so let me know how you like the quality. And I also just got a new light, I'm going to show you. So this is the light that I have, it is the newer ring light and it's very big and very bright so it's gonna give me you know a lot more space a lot more <laughs> a lot more lighting in my little small business area so just let me know what you guys think let me know if y'all like it if y'all don't you know it's gone if y'all don't like it it's out of here it's gone it's done with and yeah you guys so lots of new things happening today and i want to talk about it so let me get y'all set up and we got, we're gonna chit chat before we get into the day and i'm gonna let you guys know what we have planned for this evening <laughs> okay besties so i have you guys set up i feel like i haven't done a studio vlog in months <laughs> when in actuality all i missed was one week and i did not miss one week of posting i missed one week of posting a small business vlog so yesterday was saturday and i posted my trip to corporate vlog yesterday so i didn't do a small business vlog i did a corporate business trip vlog <laughs> so that's what i posted yesterday if you guys have not seen that video please go ahead and watch that video before you watch this one okay do not watch this video without watching my business trip video go ahead and watch it and come back and we're gonna give it a moment while you guys click out of here and go watch that video so let's just take a moment for that okay so if you watch the video and you came back welcome back so today i have um two major things on the agenda first things first i have some new designs you guys so i really want to all right sit down and talk with you guys i am thinking of uh, i don't want to say doing a rebrand but i really want to focus on faith-based items for my shop i'm gonna go all in and so i realize that i don't have like a lot of designs so i'm trying to up the designs on my store because i want designs that you could buy just to wear on a daily and then i also want seasonal designs but you guys it's been like so crazy doing every single thing all together you know trying to do seasonal designs trying to do basic designs so for right now i'm just gonna try to focus on everyday designs that my customers can just purchase just because and once i have like a good amount of those designs then i'll think about starting to find designs for the holidays so i don't know if i'm gonna meet maybe i'll get to father's day and mother's day hopefully i don't know but i'm not rushing i want to get really good designs and i want to think about it and i want to get like my sites like mm. and then i'm thinking about adding some other products like outsourcing them but you guys outsourcing products is a mess like having to communicate with you know the manufacturers in asia china india like like can i just go on the website and buy what i want to buy can i do that but all of my things that i want to buy are customized so no i can't but i'm like can i just hop on the call and talk to you and tell you what i want you tell me the price the timeline i pay my money and done but no i gotta put in the work so that's what i'm doing but i have a lot of new things coming especially for summer at least they're in my head they're in my head and i want to bring them to reality so yeah but yeah so today i think i got sidetracked you guys today what we're doing is i'm doing two more two new designs i'm going to press them so you know i like doing my designs so that i can take product photos like this one is one of my designs you know i have this on right now and y'all i don't know i feel like the light is just a little bit too much i don't know but you guys let me know what you think and we might do without the light in the next studio vlog or I might turn it down in a little bit. But let me know what you guys think about the light. But yeah, back on topic, Teresa. 
what we're gonna do today we're gonna press two two new designs this one says whatever is true honorable trust pure lovely commendable excellent praiseworthy think about such things and that's philippians 4 verse 8 and then this is how it looks hope you guys can see that this is how it looks zoom in on that and that is gonna go on an ivory comfort colors t-shirt right here and hold on you guys okay you guys i think this is much better i had that light on way too bright way too bright but um hopefully it woke you guys up <laughs> if y'all were sleeping it woke y'all up but the next design it says he is risen it's kind of like for easter design i'm gonna put this out like asap rocky i'm gonna advertise it like starting tomorrow because i'm gonna press it today see if i can get some sales probably i don't know it's a late easter design but i just thought it was so cute because he, he is risen and i feel like you could wear it all the time you see what i'm saying look at jesus duncan you go jesus look at that look at that whoosh <laughs> yep yep that's that's jesus <laughs> he, whoo he's risen okay yeah i'm done okay and that's gonna go on the pepper um comfort colors shirt you guys know the infamous pepper and i have it in large because i really like wearing over extra large and oversized um tees then the second thing we are going to do is i have a order somebody purchased directly from my website and you guys this is the biggest order i've had she ordered five items she ordered five items she ordered a t-shirt she ordered it a t-shirt she also ordered a sweatshirt one of my god save me sweatshirts she ordered a cup my faith-based cup and she also ordered two of my stickers my where is it hmm yeah she ordered two of my pink bible stickers you guys two of these and i'm thinking i'm gonna throw throw in the two pink bible stickers and then just give her like the set like why not like just get a cute set you know <laughs> get the set so yeah i think i'm gonna do that for her um i wish i could actually get her order out tomorrow but i don't have one of the sweatshirts that i need because you guys i sent all of my sweatshirts back yes i sent all of my sweatshirts back you guys i was trying to save money because like i was not getting any sales so i was like why keep all the sweatshirts and then i don't have space to keep sweatshirts and t-shirts so I sent my sweatshirts back and then I used that money to purchase my t-shirts and now people are ordering sweatshirts again so it's like oi vey like oh what do I do thank you guys so much for the orders but it's like oi vey what do I do <laughs> but we're gonna roll with the punches and you know I got an order and we're just gonna order I ordered her sweatshirt on Jiffy shirts it's coming in Tuesday and I'm gonna press that and package it Tuesday everything else I'm gonna do today and also this is for my girly kwanda she asked me to show you guys how i make my t-shirts design wise and then also how i press them so i'm gonna walk you guys through that process while i make my product t-shirts today so yeah kwanda this is for you Ding. <laughs> okay all right guys that's enough talking let's get into the video So yeah so this is everything that she ordered she ordered the god is so much bigger than design she ordered the oh if you guys can see the living proof of a loving god tea and she ordered it in blossom and then i'm gonna actually take the bible from this pack and i'm just gonna give her the extra pack plus she ordered two of the pink bibles but i'm gonna give her the whole pack and then the extra pink bible on top because why not <laughs> and then you know of course she's gonna get the goodies y'all i do need to re-up i need to re-up on these today so i'm gonna order those maybe i'll order some different ones i want like some not the silky ones but like the cotton ones and then i have two more of these so definitely gonna order these tonight so next vlog you see i'll have a different design so the thank you very much is gonna be gone and something else will be there and then i'll have more scrunchies as well 
but all right guys so first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and make her cup get that out of the way oh uh, should i press her t-shirt hmm let's let's go ahead and press the t-shirts because it's like literally so easy to do so i'm gonna do the t-shirts first because dtf dtf and then we can make her cup last okay okay guys so before i actually go ahead and make my t-shirts and add on the UBDTF cup wrap i just want to let you guys know like my process for designs i know kwanda had asked about it so i'm actually not going to show you guys how i make a design because most of my designs that i make are text-based any other designs that you see like these these i purchase online so i'm just gonna walk you through my process because i don't make these so any text-based designs they're literally that they're text and i will figure out whatever text i want and then i'll change the font so just a walkthrough of the different types of designs that i've made or that i've used text-based designs and illustrated designs now when you're designing t-shirts you have three options okay you can option number one make them yourself option number two purchase them or option option number three have somebody else make them for you if there's a fourth option i'm not aware of it okay i have used all three options when making any of my text-based designs i use either canva procreate or sometimes I've, i'll use photoshop or adobe illustrate like I know somebody asked me what font I use on one of my designs. I'm going to let you guys know I do not give out the fonts that I use on my designs. And the reason for that is, for example, my God Save Me design is intellectual property. I created that design literally. I don't think there's another design that says God Save Me and period. Because you guys might not know, but... It's not like a sentence. The full stop at the end of the God save me is not like God save me and end of the statement. It's more like, you know, how we used to, I don't know if it's that popular anymore, but it's more of God save me, period. You know, it's, it's like that. So when I created it, you know, that was the idea that I had. So again, going back, my God save me design is intellectual property. I don't see, I haven't seen anyone else with that phrase i haven't seen anyone else with that font phrase and font this is something that i created myself and if i give you guys my font that i use anyone can go and recreate my intellectual property without my permission so i'm not going to give you guys that now i do give you guys a lot i give you guys almost everything except when it comes to products that i design i'm not going to give you guys that i don't think you know um any designs that let's well let's move on so that's designs that you know i create personally those are the apps that i use canva procreate adobe photoshop or adobe illustrate i'll use those four and usually i'll create text-based designs with those okay Whenever you're creating text-based designs, please make sure that you have the right to use that font. I do use like Canva Pro and they give, it gives you the right to use like their Pro fonts and such. So just make sure you're not like using any copyrighted font or anything like that because that is a thing. Now for illustrated designs like the one I just showed you, He is Risen or such things, I have tried to make those you guys i'm not a draw artist i say draw artist because i'm not an artist i don't know how to draw i am an artist in the sense that i can sing i sing i don't draw so i'm not a draw artist so i purchased all of those illustrations i either purchased them from creative fabrica or i scour etsy and i try to find designs on etsy and that's what i use i purchase them now whenever you're looking for designs on etsy please be sure to make sure that those designs are not copyrighted they're not somebody else's property and also make sure that you have the right to use them there are some designs on etsy that i want to use however um i believe they have there's some shop owners that they will say okay yeah the design is five dollars however if you don't read the description in the description it will tell you that you are free to use this design for personal use however if you're gonna sell my design you have to purchase my copyrights 
you have to purchase the rights to sell my designs and usually that could be anywhere from twenty dollars up to a hundred dollars for the rights to all their designs so yes you have the design but you don't have the rights to sell that design on anything so you do have to make sure when purchasing any designs you read the description read the fine print if there's any confusion reach out and message the shop holder or the owner and ask the questions it's pretty easy to message someone on etsy that is the second option so we have make it yourself we have purchase it and then we have the third option is pay somebody else to make them so i am not a draughtist i do think that i am a little bit creative i can if i want to sit down and spend the time i can come up with really good designs however i don't really have the time to do that but when I do sit down and come up with really creative designs, I need somebody to bring it to life for me, to bring my vision to life. And that's where I pay somebody else to do it for me. So I have paid people on Fiverr to make my sticker drawings come to life. So these are my stickers. So all three of these stickers are my designs. I found inspo on Google, inspo on Pinterest, and you know what? I created a pink Christian girly sticker line. And what I did was I scoured Fiverr and I found artists whose work resembled the idea that I had in my head, messaged them, told them my idea, told them what I wanted exactly, and saw if that was something that they could do. And when they said yes, um i move forward with them i pay them and you know they created my design for me i do want to say if you are going to use fiverr make sure you make it clear to them that you are not allowed to sell my designs to anyone else this is my intellectual property okay you're not giving them permission to sell your designs if you don't want them to because a lot of fiverr artists they'll they'll make the designs and then they'll put it up like hey this is my work which is fine you know show your work advertise your work however some of them will also put your work up for sale and you'll see they say okay you can get five designs for ten dollars and sometimes they'll put your work there so if you don't want them to sell your work let them know that make sure this is your intellectual property they're agreeing to not sell your work just put it out there flat now once you have your design whether you bought it you created it yourself or you paid somebody else to make it you also have to decide what method you're gonna use for transferring your design onto your t-shirt so whether it's dtf whether it's sublimation whether it's screen prints you have to make that decision and do also note i know a lot of my subscribers know already but again a lot of those designs they have to be used on certain materials certain fabrics so also make sure that whatever material t-shirts you have make sure the design is compatible with that t-shirt so once you have the design and you figure out hey i'm gonna do dtf or hey i'm gonna do sublimation you then have to find a vendor and purchase you purchase that dtf or that screen print typically you will send them your designs and then they will print it out for you and mail it to you or if you're like me and you have a sublimated a sublimation printer and my sublimation printer is back there that one <laughs> That one right there is my sublimation printer. If you're going to do sublimation, you print it out yourself. Hey guys, so I know that was a lot. I don't usually give tutorials in my vlogs, but a subscriber did ask me to, you know, walk it through the process. And I also had a vlog to film today, so I thought why not put it all together. So now that you guys know my process of, you know, getting designs, you know, coming up with them, creating them, finding them, and then also getting the transfers for them now we're gonna press them onto our t-shirts so i'm gonna walk you through my process of how i press my designs and normally i will do it sped up but today i'm actually gonna give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how i press my dtf transfers all right you guys let's go okay you guys i think you guys can see me well so my heat press is all heated up so i'm gonna do my he is risen shirt so this is what it looks like this is the shirt that we're gonna do we're gonna press this one today so 
whenever you're doing DTF, um, or for me, everyone's heater or heat press is different. However, my heat press, whenever I'm doing DTF, I do 300 degrees for 15 seconds. So um, if you do have a DTF vendor, just check with them on the heat and the pressure and the time if you've never done DTF before. But, and also I do either medium or heavy pressure. Sometimes it's, heavy, it's on heavy if I've just done sublimation or if I remember to put it on medium, it'll be on medium. So when doing DTF or any design, the first thing that you wanna do with your t-shirts is you're gonna lit roll it so I have my t-shirt on here I don't know what this is called but I have it on here and I have my handy dandy lint roll okay and you're gonna lint roll it and this is to prevent like any lint from being on your clothes because if, if you I don't know if you guys have ever seen it but if you press a design and there's lint on the shirt it'll usually leave like a little blue mark and you can tell that there was something there and it's the lint and to my knowledge there's no way to get rid of that mark once that's there done once you've already lint rolled your shirt next thing you're going to do is i normally pre-press it so i do the same temperature in time 15 seconds 300 degrees and okay this is medium pressure so i pre-press it and then that's to remove any moisture that's in the shirt all right, now that is done. So let me get my little, you guys, this thing, I hope you guys could see it, but I rave about this. Like, If you guys know what I was using to align my designs, you guys would be like, girl, girl, go back to my first videos and you guys are gonna see what I used to align my designs. Like it was a struggle. Like I had to measure with a tape measure on the ends. With this, I don't have to do any of that. I will have it linked down below. I am always raving about this. So get you one of these if you don't have one already. And it's really good quality. Like it won't melt easily or anything like that. But as you guys can see, I make sure that the neckline is on here and that's so that I could align my designs. So I go like here, make sure it's set up and centered correctly. Then I can grab my design. Here's my design and I'm going to align my design, making sure that it is in the center and making sure that it is straight. Okay, you guys, so it is perfectly centered and aligned straight. So whenever I have designs that are huge like this, I typically will use like heat resistant tape and tape it down so that it stays in position when I move the shirt because it's not like vinyl, like vinyl will kind of stick to the shirt a little bit when you move the shirt. So with DTF, it won't stick. So if you move the shirt, it's gonna move its position. So one of the reasons I say move the shirt be was, is because you know the collar, I told you to make sure the collar is on the flat part of the heat press. When you're pressing, you wanna get an even press. So I always move that collar back up off the flat part of the heat press so that I can get an even press and this design is really big so it's probably gonna take up the whole 15 by 15 press now I do want to mention you guys to be mindful of oh. oh. okay guys I hope that is better so I do want to mention to you guys to be mindful of your designs because if you have like a 15 by 15 heat press and your design is bigger than 15 by 15 of course you're going to have to press that design twice and i hate <laughs> pressing the design twice so i try to keep my designs within that you know 15 by 15 box and yeah because i don't want to press the design twice you can i can i just don't want to all right so next thing i'll do is i'll cover that design up with a teflon sheet perfect and i'm gonna push it in and we're gonna press it 300 degrees for 15 seconds All right, it's all done. Whew. Now I'm gonna pull it out. Ta-da! <laughs> Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's with DTF, it's a cold peel, so I have to let it cool before I can peel it. So this is what it looks like, and I'm gonna let this cool while I press my other design, and then I'll show you guys the end result when it's cooled. <laughs> Thank you.
the heat is risen off and after we peel it we have to give it that final press to seal it on into the fabric oh my gosh you guys <laughs> it looks so good y'all oh my gosh this looks so good you guys okay okay let me do the final press and then i will show you guys what it looks like and it looks so good you guys like this is probably one of my favorite designs second to the god save me honestly this might be it this might be it <laughs> all right all done i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like yeah you guys this is amaze balls oh my gosh all right <laughs> y'all who are you talking to i'm gonna be rocking this every single day every day he is risen what did i say i said he is risen <laughs> this is the bomb.com i love this and also i love the fact one of my supporters said i needed to do some for men so i love the fact that this could go for men as well like this this is amazing. I like being inclusive. And y'all, I might want to do some more like this because I like dark colors and neutral colors. So, lots more to come, you guys. Lots more to come. All right, you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and press the other designs. And, yeah, I'll be back when I'm done. Putting trances Going all to different places Different planets Got your aura past me by Losing balance what if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life. You like to drive and get down dirty. I got the bad guy. Okay, besties. So this is how they came out, you guys. Oh my gosh, y'all. I am falling in love with DTF the more I use it again. I mean, I already knew it was amazing. I just didn't like having to deal with shipping. But y'all, do you guys see this? Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. And y'all, look at this. Ash, amazing. Ash, amazing. Yeah, you guys, these are going to be added to the shop. By the time you guys see this video, these are going to be added, added to the shop. So feel free to click the link down below if you guys want to purchase. And this is this one. This is just simple and cute. Living proof of a loving God. And yeah, you guys. Again, these will be available. This is already available. And then these will be available in my shop. If you guys would like to support me and shop with me. Also, you guys, just a reminder that I also still have links down below my small business ebook and also my how to create a Shopify website ebook. Those are links down below. Feel free to click the link and check them out if you guys would like more information on starting your small business or if you guys would like to know how to create a Shopify website. All right, you guys, now that these are done, this is the one that's going out. This one has been purchased and the rest of them are gonna be used for product photos. I'm gonna put these over here and then I'm gonna get started on her cup and her stickers as well. So she ordered again two of the pink Christian girly Bible 
and i don't have them loose i have all of them packaged up already so i'm just gonna take this one and get it out and then i'm gonna give her the whole set because why not like i'm gonna give her the whole set and of course she's gonna get freebies but this is just to say thank you because this is the biggest order um i think this order came to 75 dollars and she used my, you know, 15% off coupon that I have on my website. And so it came down to $65. And that was shipping included. And again, she purchased two of my Pink Girly Bible stickers. She purchased one of my Faith-Based Libby glasses. She also purchased the Living Proof of a Loving God t-shirt that you guys see over here. And she also purchased one of my God Save Me sweatshirts. That will be coming in Tuesday. And I will show you guys um, me making that and also me packaging up her order. So this vlog is going to be, you know, over the span of a few days. And it's probably going to be pretty long, you guys. So yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, you guys, my son is in his playpen. So if you guys hear him in the background, that's my son. <laughs> you guys should be used to him by now. But this package is done and her t-shirt is done. So we're gonna move on to her cup. so all everything that she ordered is ready except the sweatshirt and that's only because i don't have the sweatshirts but i will definitely pick the camera back up on tuesday when i get her sweatshirts and i'm gonna close out the vlog on tuesday because i do have to make her sweatshirts as well besties i also wanted to show you look at what mumbin has sent me you guys oh my gosh let me let me see if i can get this in the good light besties tell me this is not the cutest look at the stickers that they sent me you guys and it came in just in time you guys look they also sent me see if I, you guys could see look they also sent me this it's so cute it's in pink now if you guys know i already have this in brown and i really wanted it in pink or white but the pink was just a little bit more expensive but they decided to go ahead and send it to me. Oh my gosh. So it is the honeycomb packing paper. And it is in the color pink. And y'all, it came just in time. Because 
you guys know I, you guys might not know but cups have not been selling as well lately so the fact that Munbin sent the honeycomb packing paper in pink around the same time that I got this order that is amazing I actually cannot wait to wrap this up and package it up for my customer I think she's gonna love it and it's all gonna come together so cute I'm also gonna print out some thank you notes on these stickers and then on these ones I'm gonna use them for like fragile stickers so yeah I can't wait to go ahead and print these out I'm gonna print these out later on this week so that you guys could see but I'm so excited you guys and this is also the stand for my Munbin printer so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my printer on top and I just have to find somewhere to put it you guys as you guys know my space is very limited so I don't know where I'm gonna put it but I want to put it up for showcase because it is so cute so yeah I'll let you guys know what I figure out and that is my son in the background if you guys hear him he's in his playpen but alright you guys I think I will see you guys later on this week when I get my sweatshirt for this customer and yeah we're gonna pack it up together alright y'all see you later alright you guys so I'm actually gonna go ahead and print out my stickers right now I'm gonna print out the thank you stickers right now and then I'll probably at a later date I'll go ahead and print out the um, <laughs> fragile stickers I just had like a slow moment but yeah I might print out the fragile stickers at a later date just because I don't need to use the fragile stickers right now because the honeycomb packing paper that Munbin sent me already has stickers in it so I have my Munbin app open and I'm gonna go ahead choose some designs or choose a design and I'm gonna print them out created my own design for my fragile stickers and you guys they came out so cute so I'm gonna actually print out about five of them and I'm gonna show you the end products of all the stickers that I got so let's go ahead and do that look you guys <laughs> <laughs> y'all these are too cute they kind of like remind me of like the coquette style i don't know just a little dainty and cute and yeah i just designed them myself in the munbin app you guys like this app is ridiculously amazing when it comes to stickers like it literally took me all of five minutes to design this and it looks so cute like everything that Munbin sends me is super cute and super amazing and these are some of the other stickers that I printed out <laughs> and my son is here talking so if you guys hear him that's who that's who's making all that commotion and then look at these ones. These ones are like really simple, but they're so cute. I think I like these ones more because they're a little different and like, you know, funky. And then I really like my fragile stickers because I made them myself and they're really cute. But all right, you guys, I think that's it for today. I don't know if this video is going to be like a two part video or not. But if not, if it is going to be a two part video, this is going to be the end of part one. And if not, if this is not a two part video, I will see you guys um, on Tuesday when I get the sweatshirt and I can finally pack my order. <laughs> and again, you guys, I'm sorry about my son. He, yeah, he's having a good time over there in the corner. But all right, you guys, I will see y'all later. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out. <laughs> Good morning, besties. It is Tuesday, March 26th, and I just got a package. So, as you guys can see, UPS, I think, <laughs> delivered my Jiffy Shirts package, you guys. I already have, like, a bunch of shirts, but your girl had to order some more because... 
I sent my sweatshirts back. I think I was telling you guys that I sent all my sweatshirts back. And I ordered t-shirts because, you know, I thought it was time to do that. And tell me why I got a sweatshirt order. So I got a sweatshirt order maybe Friday of last week, Thursday or Friday of last week. And so I placed an order with Jiffy shirts. And then tell me why someone else ordered another sweatshirt like over the weekend. So I had to order another sweatshirt with Jiffy shirts. So you guys, I'm beginning to kind of sort of maybe regret the fact that I sent all my sweatshirts back. But who could have told me that you know i thought it was time to get rid of them i guess that was a learning experience on my end but yeah you guys this is what we have i'm gonna go ahead and make the sweatshirts and i'm gonna send them i'm gonna bring them to the post office today and also you guys i'm sorry about that noise i think they're like blowing the grass or the leaves or something so i'm so sorry about that but hopefully you guys can still hear me I'm trying to speak as loudly as i can but I believe one of these, I think this one is going to be a God Save Me. And then this one is a God is Greater Than Everything. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make them. And then I'm going to package them up because the God Save Me is a part of the bundle that I was showing you guys. She's the one that ordered the stickers, the t-shirts, and the cup. So I'm going to package that one up and let you guys see after I've made them. So alright you guys, I will be back. Hey guys so i'm all done cutting the designs out so i'm gonna go ahead and press them and then i will be back to show you guys the end result and we're gonna package the orders together okay besties so these are done so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna package them up and i'm gonna take you guys along <music> I'm all done. I packaged up this, uh, the big order, and I also packaged up the other sweatshirt. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here, you guys. All right, besties, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here, but you guys know the drill. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below and tell me what was your favorite part about this vlog. And if you aren't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? Do not watch another video without hitting that subscribe button. All right, you guys, I am out of here. I will see y'all next time. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>